Hello, friends. I welcome you all uh, today on the behalf of uh, three of us from Exotic Astrology. Of, uh, and Baba Ji Ji is joining us from all the way from Germany. We have another uh, very special guest. You must have seen him on my channel. His name is Shri Gitanshu Malhotra Ji from RUK2. So welcome, Bhaiya. He lives in New Delhi, India. So how are you? How are you all? <laughs> very fine. Very fine. Enjoying the quarantine. <laughs> uh, I'm good to uh, awaiting for this conversation. <laughs> yes, I know it's a bit, a uh, little early for you, but it's so happy to see you again. Yeah, you the session which you did on Savan Nakshatra was Sir, thank you. went viral. So people are asking me when is he coming next and doing on some other nakshatra. I said very soon. Thank you, sir. Thank you for giving me that opportunity. Yes, uh, it was a lot of good feedback we got. So that's always good. So I want to tell the audience, we were just having three of us, we were just having the casual conversation. So suddenly the thought came, why not to record this, what we were chatting about. So the topic is very general. And, uh, but it is yet very interesting because we all thought mutually that we should break some of the taboos, some of the myths, some of the negativity, which we keep getting through the messages, through the comments and uh, uh, through the other social platform as well in the field of Vedic astrology. So whenever I do the session with Gitanshu ji, it's always a mystery that what I gonna ask him. So he knows, the, he's always in a suspense. So today I thought I should play the same prank with Baba Ji as well. So I have few taboos or few questions we can say that related to astrology again. The first thing which I really wanted to discuss is because I get people getting so obsessed so much into astrology that uh, let me give you an ins instance that what I mean by that. Uh, there was one lady I met recently and we wanted to uh, do some business meeting. But she said, I cannot meet you until this and this date, until this time. I was like, okay, is, is there any special day uh, that you are waiting for? She said, no, Saturn is going to be in this time, that time, this time, that time. I cannot meet you before that. So I was like, okay, uh, first thought was, okay, okay, so she must be having some uh, uh, serious, some serious uh, astrological alignment going on with her. So later on also, when, when it came down to the meeting point, she said, we, I can only meet you for this minute, between this time and that time. And I could not take it anymore. And I'm pretty sure you must be also getting clients like that. I'm pretty sure Gitanshu Bhaiya is also getting clients like that where they are too much obsessed. So I wanted to ask you both. Jaise Hindi mein kehte hai, har cheez ki ati kharab hai. So getting too much into astrology all the time 24 seven, is it, is it healthy? Is because I feel it is not as us running between these energy. It is just like astrology is running us. So till what level it is good to follow this, till what level it is good to have all these in energy around us. So I really wanted to take your opinion on that. So I can start, I think. <laughs> okay. I uh, I As you know, Aman openly said that I don't follow myself astrology very much, personally speaking. Right. Because uh, there is a reason for it. There is a reason for it. Like, I have seen people taking out Murat, auspicious time for calculations. These auspicious times of calculation are standard calculation. They are not specific to the particular horoscope. Right. right? A very small example is there that people follow Rahu Kal a lot. Right. That right now you cannot say because this is Rahu call. I have one simple question to ask. 
what if your rahu is the best planet placed in your chart then what right right absolutely that is the time believe it or not rahu kal becomes something very auspicious for you right likewise when you take out certain nakshatras for these are uh, let's say neutral nakshatras right these nakshatras are good to start the work maybe those some planets which are malefic in your chart are placed in those nakshatras right that is why sometimes the astrologer gets a bad name that this you calculated this time but this yes. is the universal standard time that everybody can take out you can just take out the panchang and it is written that these are good bonus for the date right and these are bad times for the date however my experience says that everything differs from individual to individual yes if you have very strong upachya planets planets in 3 6 10 11 and you have strong nakshatras associating with these houses or these planets then generally taking out a time for you will never be right right because your destiny depends more on hard work than on luck your planets <laughs> are not placed on the lucky side of the chart you are not the trinal kind of a guy you are more of the upachya kind of a guy that you will hit the nail 20 times at least one time will hit on the right spot right right my 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 opinion is this yes because it is a very good point uh, uh, gitanshu bhai you have mentioned because not many people considered rahu kal a good but to be very honest whenever i try to follow the muhurta because i cannot follow 24/7 it is way too much for me i cannot do it those who do again we are not against that we are not against anything you can follow it but i i don't do do it but whenever i do it in the rahu kal because i know the placement of rahu in my own natal chart it works wonders for me so you are absolutely right on that part and so uh, let's Baba take the yeah, yeah let's take the uh, baba ji's opinion what he yeah. thinks <clears throat> yeah so i also i would like to share something from my recent past so you would be aware of course gitan shuji mostly and aman ji also that the indian prime minister had made a lot of declarations in the last right. Two months. Right. It's locked down till twenty-one days. Then it's extended till some date in May. So right. I got near about fifty mails or messages in Facebook that uh, where people had asked me why did Mr. Narendra Modi announce this at this time? Why not at seven p.m.? Why at eight? Eight. pm only why at morning 9 9 am 10 am okay. so then many of them had tagged me in some facebook posts they said that there was one many astrologers who had made a detailed analysis of all the five elements of pancha why he made this as that so one said the tithi was this one yeah uh, one planet was in navamsa nakshatra okay yeah one planet was in a particular uh, sextile position with another planet okay and then somebody said that nakshatra was this then they said you know according to that place they calculated the lagna chart also of new delhi india at that that 8 pm time i said wow what a level of charity you did so <laughs> <laughs> free free uh, free time you have and you you keep doing all these things so then i said well uh, if maybe narendra modi would take all this into consideration every time then maybe uh, he would also be an astrologer and not running the country like he's doing now so now many people when i said this they said oh why do you say like this you no know, do you are you saying that astrology is not important it's a fake science i said no i didn't say that but the thing is i know some people who <coughs> like this example i had given in my channel long 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 back that there was one lady who she messaged me she i said that uh, she said i have a match but there's a boy this is the horoscope i have sent to you can you just tell me is it good or bad i said yeah it looks to be good uh, you can go and meet the person and then she got outraged she said oh how do you say that you know he has rahu in the 7th house how can i meet him oh yeah i remember you mentioned that to me yes 
Yeah, he will cheat me. He's a liar. He. <laughs> I said then there are so many people who have Rahu in the seventh. So does it mean that everybody is a cheater? Now everybody has Rahu some Rahu. If Rahu in the ascendant is in the ascendant, so maybe you are a cheater, right? Mm-hmm. If Rahu is in fifth house, maybe your children. Maybe I mean everybody has a Rahu somewhere, right? Exactly. So everybody might. If you t- tell me that Rahu in seventh house is a cheater, let's assume you are correct. So then, if your Rahu is in eleven, then maybe your elder sibling is a cheater, right? So then, somebody is a—I mean, even if you marry a person who doesn't have Rahu in seven, he will lie in some area of his life, right? So that's what I feel that uh, people, people, people sometimes forget that they are normal human beings. Yes. They 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 get so much crippled by astrology. So astrology yeah. is like. It's meant to help us, not to uh, make our lives more miserable. Miserable, yes. That's what I wanted to hear. Yes. And sorry, and I'm very sorry to say this. In fact, I'm not sorry actually. <laughs> that most of the people who come to astrology, they come. I mean, I have seen one percent of them. They come because they want some higher enlightenment or something, and they want to know themselves. That's fine. But ninety-nine percent of the people who come, they are because they are suffering. They want relief. All right. That is why they come. So then I tell them that you are already suffering. Why do you want to suffer more like this? <laughs> I mean, you are already unhappy. Why do you become more unhappy by doing all this? Because okay. if you take astrology in that domain, getting obsessed with every single detail like this, mm-hmm. and you forget the ultimate purpose. That it's like that's why I always tell people. Look at your. If you want to look at your horoscope, look at it once in a year. That's all. Right. Not not yes. something that. No yes. no need of keeping all the time. You are opening your horoscope every. There are people I know who message me every morning. They look their look at their horoscope. Can you believe it? Every no, I can believe them. I'm like my God. This will. But then what happens? Now you become very diluted. Then what happens? Anything happens, you will try to justify in your life using astrology. So suppose you are be behaving irresponsibly. You lost your mobile. Then you will say, Oh, actually, yeah, I know. You know, my lagna is this, so my moon is transiting eighth house. So some loss has to be there, right? Oh yeah, right. actually, my moon is transiting there. So more what, biased. Yeah, so you become more and more irresponsible. You put all the blame to the planets. That as I had said earlier, you know, I am fine, but my planets are not good. Okay. So, so yeah, that that you should know what astrology is, and you should use it for the ultimate purpose. Once in a year, you can do and uh, look at your horoscope, or you can get a reading once in five years. That's fine. There's no problem. With it. But every day looking and checking moon transits, you you know the moon nakshatra. You can use it to learn that okay today moon is in uh, this nakshatra. Maybe this can happen. Right. That's fine. But do, uh, use astrology as a tool. Don't get submerged into that tsunami. You know, okay, this planet is here. This planet is there. This will happen. That will happen. I mean, don't don't terrorize yourself and don't terrorize others. In fact, other people who stay around you, they can get that vibe. You know, this person is abnormal. He's not normal. Because anytime anything happens, you will connect to numerology or astrology. Then they start fearing you. They feel that, oh my God, we cannot do anything normal. If you tell them that, uh, will you go to a picnic with us here? He will say, oh no, 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 no. My moon is in twelfth house. I cannot go that day. So it's abnormal basically you you become like an abnormal person you know you <laughs> you have lost faith in normal human interaction <laughs> let me uh, uh, yeah so you have crippled yourself that is all i would say thank you <laughs> thank you i was really looking forward to that explanation because let me give you another instance there was another one of my uh, friend people are People are using astrology so judgment, like using the judgment so frequently. I have seen. They said, "You don't mess with me." He said it to me. He said, "Why? Uh, what? Uh, what's wrong?" He said, "My moon is in Bharni." He, he did not knew that I also have moon in Bharni. He said, "Don't mess with me. I have moon in Bharni. I am Yama." So I, was, I was like, "Okay, so this kind of astrology is not working for you." So. So, yeah, what do you think when people make judgments like that in astrology? 
how healthy it is and is i like it true jyotish is it really true jyotish i i know people so many people in moon and bharni they are not yama in any way they are good people right right they are very good people there is no problem in that <coughs> so that is why that is why we wanted to record this session to break certain taboos that just like baba ji said just like gitanchu bhaiya said don't use astrology as it is feeling you scaring you in any way it is use it as a tool to go further in life and again we are not saying do not use pachang we are not saying do not use astrology on a daily basis do that but just like baba ji said do it for research purposes do it in order to get the betterment the positive side of the jyotish not to fear your own self not to tell that i am yama my moon in, is in bharni it is absolutely wrong way of uh, uh, doing the jyotish can i if you permit me can i ask la, la, add one small thing to it please please uh, the way i see it i can share it with you Ji. to me a horoscope is a general graph of your plus planets your neutral planets your weak planets right by plus i mean that for this particular zone or this region you won't have to put in lot of hard work or effort right like let us say from the 7th house you can see the business and marriage you can also see the public appearance and your public life right. this is also a marak sthan yes yes this is absolutely. also a market not all the time all the houses or all the forte of that particular house would be growing in your life maybe you don't have to work so much in your marriage that you may find a partner very easily but it will be very difficult for you to sustain your business right it will be equally more difficult even if you sustain the business it will be more uh, difficult to uh, to uh, let's say get a good public life right to me a horoscope is a graph where people can understand okay this is the place where i need to be a little relaxed but i need to put in extra effort in such areas right generally when they when they because they meet so many people because they read so much on the net because there are so many people giving different opinion right. a lot of people consider that a weak planet is needed to be strengthened to get the best out of it right yeah whereas this this misconception is totally wrong you 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 need to you need to uh, probably do things other things for the planet which are already very weak right it's just like i broken my left leg and i want to run and i want to run on my left leg right so i i feel that uh, people should take astrology as a graph of their this birth that this is the planet which is strong this is the planet which is weak i need to work more on this week and forget about all the <laughs> probably uh, upayas or probably all the remedies for it that i am going to wear this i am going to do this i am going to do this mantra this will strengthen it there are other ways to strengthen it which are much better than remedies right. the normal remedies prescribed right and one one small last thing i would like to add here is uh, in anything which you like as aman ji said very nicely na anything in excess is very bad so that 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 includes astrology also so in that i have seen that you 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 have to always understand that you are a normal human being anything which is prohibiting you from being normal that that is not good for you yeah yeah correct that, correct even if that is astrology if it makes you abnormal i i know people that is why i am saying this there are people i, I have some friends who are into astrology and they are the most abnormal people i have seen not that they were abnormal they have become abnormal yeah. and then i asked them that why what has happened and they say that i am i am so frustrated in life i am i have lost faith in myself i have lost faith in the universe i have lost faith in god why because you they say that i know my mahadasha is suppose rahu so rahu is terrible in my chart then guru is in debility so it's it will be worse then saturn 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 is afflicted by mars so it cannot be good right 
cost. Right. So basically, they, they are convinced that the, the remaining 60 years of their life is going to be terrible. Yeah. Again, the judgments. People are making too much of judgments. And by that, they even if I have seen that they get some good career opportunity, but they they will not go. They will say, oh, how can I go? My Mercury Pratyantar is going on. Mercury is in 12th house. I will lose it. I yeah. say, Okay, okay, okay. It's in 12, but in Bhav Chalit, it's in the 11. So it will give results of the 11. House. No, 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 no. That you are just saying to make me feel good. So now, if I we say something, it becomes feel good factor. And if they already assume that is the truth, so don't don't become abnormal. The the moment you realize that astrology has destroyed yourself, your life is when when. Maybe when other people tell you around you because you cannot know, no, others will know. They will come and tell you 100%. They may not tell you, but they will discuss among themselves. So that right. is the time you know I must put a full stop. Right. right. And I think, thank you. Thank you. Because I think this will give a good clarity to the audience that do not pass judgments. Trick. Take the real benefits of Jyotish and move on. Stop looking at your own charts every day, every second. I used, I actually, I never did that, but um, I got a very good lesson from Gitanchu Bhaiya uh, uh, in a very positive way, not to look things, not to run like a maniac that uh, I, I still remember he told me once day, uh, uh, once when I met him in person that Jyotish is running you. So do, don't be like that. Like 24-7 you're looking at the Mohurta, 24-7 you're looking for this combination, that combination. Don't do that. It will just ruin your observations, your research, and you will not grow. So don't do that. So uh, let me pass on to the next question. 